Welcome back to another episode with Mufaro and, and Joy. All right. <laughs> in this video, we're going to talk about how to make good money in the home care agency business. Or non-medical home care. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now, making money in the home care agency business is mm -hmm. very, very simple. Yes. But mm -hmm. it's not easy. Let me explain what I mean. Mm -hmm. There are three fundamental pillars of a successful business. Mm -hmm. Number one mm -hmm. is the people. Yeah. Number two product. is the product or the service. Mm -hmm. And number three, and which is the most important, is the process. Is the process. Mm -hmm. Now I want to talk about process for a minute. Mm -hmm. I was in a few Facebook groups mm -hmm. and some lady asked, I, I guess she was looking to start her own agency and she wasn't sure which agency to start, whether she should start a medical or non-medical agency. Mm -hmm. She wasn't really sure. Mm -hmm. So she asked, which is the most profitable agency? Mm -hmm. Now, when I saw that question, I immediately responded mm -hmm. and said, well, profitability really depends on mm -hmm. the type of process you have in place. Right. What I mean by that is, mm -hmm. there are people in this business mm -hmm. that are making no money. Yes. In fact, some people are in debt. Right. Which is even worse. Mm -hmm. They've been in debt since they started the agency the years agency. ago. Yes. And then there's a small minority mm -hmm. that is making millions. Mm -hmm. And here's the difference between those two. Mm -hmm. The difference between those two people is that one has a solid process that is optimized. Right. And the other one has no idea that they need process and has no process in place. Right. I've also had a conversation mm -hmm. in these groups mm -hmm. of somebody who asked, mm -hmm. what is the best way for me to get paid or invoice a, a, a client? Mm -hmm. And then I saw people talking about, of course, there are mm -hmm. other agencies that are relying on Medicare, mm -hmm. so they would focus on Medicare billing and all this stuff. Right. Too complicated. In fact, yes. with what we teach, we don't even bother recommending that. No, we don't. There's another group of people that are running mm. uh, non-medical mm -hmm. home care agencies yeah. that are private pay that don't rely on Medicare. Mm -hmm. So I saw this lady in the comments section responding mm -hmm. and saying that, well, I t just tell my clients to write a check at the end of each week after we've delivered the service. Mm -hmm. And I looked at this, I was like, man, this is the worst advice ever. Mm -hmm. This is really bad advice. Mm -hmm. Do you know how risky it is for you to wait until the, mm -hmm. the work is done mm -hmm. and then get paid? Mm -hmm. It's very, very risky, mm -hmm. especially if this is a new client of yours. Mm -hmm. It's one thing yes. if this client is mm -hmm. A, an old client and you he, they're reliable and they pay on time right but if you're brand new yeah are you gonna are you telling me that you're gonna do the job first and then get paid at the end of the week or at the end of the month no way it's very risky and it's bad advice mm. and i see this all the time okay. surprisingly yeah people don't understand that mm -hmm. You really have to create a process mm. that allows for you to minimize this kind of risk. That's right. Because here's what's going to happen. Mm. If this client is new and you tell the client, okay, I'm going to do work mm -hmm. for you, and then you pay me at the end of the week, mm. what's going to happen is you're going to send your caregivers to do the job. Yes. At the end of the week or at the end of the month, that client is going to come up with all kinds of excuses why they can't pay on time. Yes. They'll tell you the check is in the mail. Right. We all know that's BS. Yeah, and then there's yeah, there's a big risk with um, it's too risky. having your check mailed because sometimes, you know, it's likely going to get lost or it may take longer to reach you. And remember, you have the responsibility to pay your caregivers that's on time. Right. If you Didn't don't that do that on time, yeah, it did happen to me. If you don't pay them on time, guess what? Some of them are going to quit the job. It did happen to me. One time a check was sent to me and it got misplaced. I didn't even know how. So I had to go back to the agency and let them know what happened. They're like, oh, we sent the check. I'm like, no, I didn't, I didn't get that check. So they had to, I had to, you know, ask them if they can do like a deposit instead 
of me relying on you know because mm -hmm. i don't want that same problem happening truth be over told and over. truth yeah. be told the agency that you used to work for back in the day mm. that they were trying to scam you that's the that's the honest truth mm. what they were hoping maybe for, i didn't look at it that way but you didn't I, look at it that way because yeah. you're, you're an honest person mm. but they were trying to scam you and have you do all this work and say oh man you know what i'm not even going to bother follow up on this mm. on this check mm. so your clients are going to do the same thing to you yeah. How, you know what makes you so special that your clients are not going to do that to you mm. so you minimize that risk what we recommend is you ask for the payment up front okay. at least a week's worth of work mm -hmm. payment up front mm -hmm. before you even send your caregivers in there that's right and then the the, the clients that actually have the money yes that W are trustworthy mm -hmm. that are legit mm -hmm. will pay they will pay, we'll pay up front yes right yes. so let's say your going rate for the month is five thousand dollars mm -hmm. per client mm -hmm. you should be collecting twelve hundred dollars for that week yes up front yes and not in a check by the way yeah. you should be collecting that money in an online payment of some sort mm -hmm. whether it's stripe yes or paypal but never a check it's bad, bad advice i don't understand why people are still giving this kind of advice it's crazy mm -hmm. also when it comes down to process yeah she's had a situation where there was a scheduling conflict mm -hmm. where and i'll let you chime in in a second but mm -hmm. we're scheduling conflict where you give your caregivers mm -hmm. a, a, a schedule for the week and they plan their week ahead yes. of time mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden one of your caregivers doesn't show up to work and you have to move schedules around and create some mess you have a story yeah there was one time um i used to have a day off like friday was off and i was being told that friday i don't have any work to do on friday so guess what i had my friday planned you know things to do and guess what i'm somewhere far away i get a phone call from the agency and they're asking me to go and do some work and mind you this place that they were sending me to do the work was almost two hours and a half away from where i was so i told i said you know what i'm sorry like you know i can't change my plans and where i am right now it's far away by the time i get to the client and mind you this is a new client so even trying to figure out how to get there it might even take more than those two hours and a half mm -hmm. so i'm sorry i can't you know make it today you know you should have let me know at least maybe thursday so that i know friday i'm gonna go to this address and i have work for that day you know so i told the lady that i won't be able to make it and of course she wasn't happy about it she was yelling at me on the phone and telling me if you don't want this job you know she's gonna give it to somebody else and so i said that's fine i don't have a problem with that but I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna make it that's the truth so that happened to me the first time okay i took it easy it happened again and i was like you know what this is it I can't take this anymore so I, I quit the job it's sad because mm -hmm. there's a chick-fil-a mm -hmm. if you're familiar with chick-fil-a for you southerners yeah. chick-fil-a is a uh, fast food restaurant mm -hmm. I discovered that chick-fil-a pays two to three dollars more per hour mm -hmm. than all the competitive fast food restaurants like McDonald's yes uh, Burger King mm -hmm. and Wendy's mm -hmm. and when you look at the way that these kids yeah treat you when you go to chick-fil-a you're like man i feel like i'm in a five-star restaurant because mm -hmm. the service is so good it's you can so tell good. they're happy yes the employees look so happy, so happy. they love what they're doing mm -hmm. what, what chick-fil-a has done they've perfected mm -hmm. the art of making chicken yes and they're taking that, that process even all the way down to the yes. way they treat the employees yes so it comes down to how you treat your employees if you treat your employees they'll do a better job they'll do a better job and that reflects on the customers yes and the customer is going to keep coming they're going to keep coming. right and, and you're, you're going to make money you're going to make money <laughs> good money <laughs> what's what the most frustrating thing that i see joyce mm -hmm. is a lot of people that are yeah. starting agencies yes they don't have enough self-confidence to mm -hmm. be charging the rates that they deserve that's so it's true a, it's I, such a I shame i saw that too I've, I've observed that too okay. this job 
honestly it's not an easy job this is a job that a lot of people would not want to do I mean I worked with patients that have Alzheimer's and it's really really stressful so going back to the point of how you treat your caregivers you really have to show them some level of respect because when you do that they'll remain loyal to you but if you disrespect them you don't even like another way maybe you might not be able to pay them like maybe extra three four dollars but let me say now this is this beautiful season uh christmas season you can either throw a small party do like pizza call them yeah. you know Bonus. or make bonuses mm -hmm. give them bonuses that's another way to keep your caregivers happy or your employees happy Number do you know thing. you can charge your client ten, up to ten thousand dollars a month mm -hmm. if you can demonstrate that you there are people the who can afford that the, the people can afford private that. paying clients can afford that I'm gonna tell you I know of somebody who's been doing this job for 15 years maybe over 15 years and this lady was only working with private paying clients and she was working with millionaires who are really paying her good like that really kept her for all those years because yeah. they were treating her nice ten thousand dollars a month mm -hmm. to a millionaire mm -hmm. is like a hundred dollars a month to us it's like a, it's like a phone bill it's like a phone bill yeah so so i don't understand why people don't have the confidence enough to charge this lady was rates. being paid 750 just in two days yeah i believe that and just 750 but food was being provided everything transport was being provided everything so are you gonna tell me that person is not gonna want to continue doing this job man you yeah. know and then on, on on the christmas the christmas season this season she was being given good bonuses as well yeah it goes without saying that the reason why people don't feel mm -hmm. like they can uh, they can charge the race that they deserve is because they don't even know how to get these clients in the first place yes they think that oh i'm just gonna go out passing out flyers but let me ask you this mm. we we live in a pretty decent neighborhood mm -hmm. right in atlanta yes and down the street about mm -hmm. a 10 minute drive from here yeah. there's a country club yes there's a really well like this is where millionaires athletes and like millionaires live Pretty much it's a country yes. club yes and in order for you to get into the country club mm. you need to get past a gatekeeper there's right. a gate there like mm -hmm. a security guard and everything that's right how are you gonna get past that security guard to go pull pass out flies to those mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. do you know how those people find your services mm. they go to google yes they go to google search google for ads yes home care agency see near me right that can take care of my elderly parent who's got Alzheimer's yes they type that into Google mm -hmm. and at the top of that care.com comes up mm -hmm. a place for mom comes up comes up right and guess what mm -hmm. your website could come up as well as well so yes. that's how you should be reaching these people yes because you cannot get past the gatekeeper no the it's not easy gatekeeper is through online tactics and right with this pandemic it's even hard yeah, to do it's that even hard yes so the, on, the online game is the only way it's the only way yes it's the only way if you're still passing out flyers good luck just be open if you want to succeed you have to be open to learning new things and learning new things is keeping up with technology if you can't do that, then you're bound to fail. Yeah, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make it into 2021, unfortunately. No, no. We're also speaking of uh, getting clients, we've created a 90-day video course mm -hmm. that teaches you how to get these clients through online marketing. And we actually do the online marketing for you. Mm -hmm. So we set you up with a website, yeah. a free website. Mm -hmm. We show you how to do online marketing. So. Mm -hmm. The way we teach is we teach Google advertising, okay. whereby a wealthy, affluent client that is looking for the services you, you, you have to offer will go online and Google a home care agency near me, and then your, your website will show up and they'll contact you. Again, preview the link below, take a look at it, mm -hmm. and again, feel free to schedule a call with us. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. I hope you got some value from this video. Peace. Peace. <laughs>